Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we will talk about how the Ebola virus replicates within human cells. Scientists in Canada and the United States have found a new way in which Ebola reproduces in the body. Ebola is a deadly virus affecting people mostly in sub-Saharan Africa. It is a viral hemorrhagic fever that was first identified in Central Africa in 1976. The disease was named after a river in the Democratic Republic of Congo, then known as Zaire. Five of the virus species are known to cause disease in humans, Zaire, Sudan, Bundibugyo, Reston, and Thai Forest. The first three have resulted in serious outbreaks in Africa. The latest work by the scientists reveals a new target for antiviral drug development. The work might also lead to more effective therapies for this deadly disease. The findings of the study, titled Ebola Virus VP35 Interacts Non-Covalently with Ubiquitin Chains to Promote Viral Replication, were reported in the journal PLOS Biology. The collaboration includes pharmacologists from the Université de Montréal Infectious Disease, specialists from Rutgers University, and a group of microbiologists, immunologists, and pathologists from the University of Texas Medical Branch, UTMB, in Galveston. The study focused on the interaction between ubiquitin, a protein found in human cells, and the Ebola virus VP35 protein. Notably, this contact is critical for the virus's capacity to proliferate and elude the immune system. As quoted by reports, co-author Rafael Naimanovic, professor of pharmacology at the Université de Montréal, said, Through a blend of experimental methods and advanced computational modeling, we predicted the specific area where VP35 binds to ubiquitin chains, even identifying potential drug candidates that could disrupt this crucial interaction. This discovery not only deepens our understanding of how the virus works, but also offers a promising avenue for the creation of more effective therapies. In particular, it paves the way for the design of drugs capable of disrupting this interaction and slowing down viral replication, Najmanovic added. Reports have mentioned the virus's natural reservoir animal is suspected to be a species of fruit bat, which does not itself fall ill, but can pass the disease on to primates, including humans. Humans become exposed to the virus if they kill or butcher infected bats for food. Among humans, the virus is passed on by contact with the blood, body fluids, secretions or organs of an infected or recently deceased person. This can include touching a sick or dead person and likely also sexual intercourse. Those infected do not become contagious until symptoms appear. They become more and more contagious until just after their death, which poses great risks during funerals. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.